The increasingly rapid and mobile flow of information is revolutionizing the way we think about communication in development work. UNICEF is working to convene academic, private sector and civil society groups to harness this flow of knowledge and information to develop viable communication systems in some of the most remote and challenging environments in the world. One exciting new communications tool currently being engineered is the B, developed in conjunction with a unit of the South African Government's Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the Merake Institute. The B is far more than just a new type of computer. It's a novel communication ecosystem which can be easily transported and assembled and provides modular connectivity and power. Through the wireless technologies that the B contains, rural areas that have never had access to the internet will now have it. They'll be able to be connected to the rest of the world. It's reasonably light, it's very, very rugged, very, very well designed and, and actually quite an amazing achievement. A practical application would be an emergency environment uh, where people need to get uh, a communications hub set up, they need access to internet, they need access to emails, they need access to communications services. The greatest benefit of this system is its ability to connect people. Inspiration came from the thinking being done by CSIR and other on-the-ground innovators working on low-powered, rugged computing, such as the Institute's Digital Doorway Initiative. The Digital Doorway project is primarily designed at putting computers into deep rural environments and then getting people to teach themselves how to use computers. The UNICEF guys came to South Africa. They saw the digital doorway and they requested us to develop the B. Even if you can just deliver a unit to a village, get it switched on, and get them connected, um, you, you're already making such a huge difference in somebody's life. The B is designed to be checked on as baggage on a commercial flight and brought anywhere in the world on a moment's notice. Once in place, the B can connect to the internet using any means available via mobile phone, satellite, Wi-Fi or landline. And the system is self-powered. It can run not only on solar power, but also using battery, mains and other emerging alternative energy technology. A B can be built using locally available parts and the hardware and software are open source. Anyone can use the designs and applications. All you have to do is get the plans, get the software, put it together and you're off without paying royalties or licensing fees. The B's primary function is a communication system for emergencies. It's a system that's designed to be brought in by a uh, single person, set up and broadcast Wi-Fi or FM radio. One of the big problems in emergency situations is people get separated. If you can take a photograph of a child and say, put it on the web and say, listen, we've got this child, does anybody know who it is? And you get the connection game. The B, along with items like the digital doorway and other more standard computing solutions, can be an important component in a build back better strategy during and after an emergency. After the emergency is over, it can remain in the community and serve as a communications resource for them. And a method to spread knowledge. Using a built-in projector and speakers, the B functions as an education and information hub for the entire community. Education is, is, is vitally important to the success of a, of a country. Um, you need to educate the population so that they can make informed decisions. What is a sustainable way of growing corn? How do we protect our environment so that the next generation actually has a place to live and food to eat? Uh, you're now coming along with high-tech solutions and surprisingly people are not scared of technology okay, especially the kids and it definitely makes a difference in somebody's life I mean, in terms of education in terms of that self-realization the, the, the feeling of self-worth this technology is very much in its infancy it's rapidly developing and we foresee many possible uses for it. Its ability to bring communications into a remote area. Interface between cellular phones or low-cost electronics and the internet. 
communications can actually have a huge impact in, in people's lives. Uh, with a bit of creative thinking, I mean, the, the sky's the limit.